Hello guys and welcome again to Love TG YouTube channel where we love everything about digital art and web design. And in today's video we are going to create another Adobe Illustrator tutorial and we are going to make this amazing abstract spiral background. And we will use again blend tool as before. So if you are interested in a creation of uh, abstract backgrounds and you want to know how to do this or something like this you are exactly where you have to be because this is what we are going to do right now so let's start let's create new document and let's use full HD resolution and the settings as I have chosen right here let's click create first thing we are going to do we are going to use star tool star tool is under the group which is under a rectangle tool so by clicking at the right button on your mouse it will shows this it shows this little menu and you will choose star tool and basically click on the artboard and choose the settings I have or if you want to experiment you can choose your settings let's click OK and I want to get rid of the sharp points sharp points so we can do that by choosing direct selection tool and when you move with your mouse around here it shows little icon like that so when it does click left a button on your mouse and drag it little down like that and now choose again selection tool and move it above the artboard like that so we can see it better now we are going to copy our shape ctrl C ctrl F on your windows command C command F on your Mac let's drag uh, our new copied uh, shape to the right and hold your shift key so we will have it ex like exactly in the center right like that now we are we want to make it smaller to do that we can do it manually or we can use scale tool so scale tool is again under group the first one is rotate tool so when you click right button on rotate the tool it will show the little menu choose scale tool and let's you have to have selected the shape we have it selected and press enter and we want it to make at one person of original size like that let's click OK now we are going to go to object blend blend options and I have already configured it so choose specifies distance as spacing and for pixels is a default default I think let's click OK now let's select both of our shapes Control A or Command A on your Macbook and let's go to object blend make and now we want to reverse it so this will be here and this will be here let's go to object blend reverse spine now we want to get rid of the filling so in your properties when you see the fill in appearance you know or if you don't see it go to window appearance let's click and let's choose none and now we want to uh, fill the strokes fill the strokes so it will be more interesting because you can see a little bit right through it so in your swatches uh, let's click on library menu down here let's go to gradients and as you can see I have chosen fades we can see it here and I have basically chosen this this one right here fade to center black and first thing I'm going to do I'm going to drag it to my swatches and then click 
here next to your stroke and we will choose this one yes as you can see it should look like this yeah so we have our basic shape here and now we are going to use tool we don't see a in the default right here if you have new Adobe Illustrator but and this is important under the three dots you can see other tools in default you will see it like that but I want to see the text next to it so I chose um, every tool on the line with the text so and we will choose spiral tool so choose spiral tool and click on the artboard again and I have already my settings configured basically these three options are more most important they will basically define the shape I want it to go like that to the center and but you can create uh, incomplete spirals or very very like um, layered spares, uh, spirals but for this tutorial the settings is about ok let's click ok and it will look like this basically so what we are going to do next um, we are going to select everything again Control A, Command A on your Mac go to object blend and replace spine yeah as you can see it has created uh, this kind of very interesting shape now we are going to make it bigger so let's select it and let's drag it right here I hold alt shift on my PC I think it is uh, option shift on your Mac I guess and let's drag it more big so um, control minus uh, we can uh, make it small and for the purpose of better view let's go on view and trim view and now let's basically move it I know my computer is not the fastest one so it always is a little bit slower something like this maybe even a little bigger something like that so we don't see this shape here and let's do it that's it should be something like close to center yeah something like this by the way if you like this already you can finish but I have chosen to do another layer to create another layer so it will be more colorful so let's choose rectangle tool and let's draw rectangle through all of our artboard and now let's click in layers let's click like that and let's move this at the bottom and now let's choose gradient I like freedom gradient and then you can choose colors you like to choose so basically as I remember I think I have chosen orange here a little bit greenish blue here and I have added another point here we can maybe let it be light and we will change it later I have I think I've chosen more red here and what here what was here something bluish uh, maybe we let's do it like it was before uh, let's drag let's choose this one here so this is basically it you know but we can also experiment with our blending mode here 
I always don't know how to call this blending mode. I think I have chosen luminous luminosity. It doesn't make much difference, but you can experiment with this, you know, you can choose overlay, it will look different more. But as you can see it creates this shine effect. If you like this, I cho prefer uh, either multiply, I think, was quite interesting. It's more darker, or luminosity, which is basically the same thing as the original. And I almost forgot, we have now trim view. If we will disable it, the end result looks like this, but we don't want this. So, we want to create clipping mark, basically cut everything that goes beyond our artboard. To do that, it's very simple. Uh, I have, uh, we want to create a shape that will cover our artboard. We already have it. Let's just copy our background rectangle, Control C, Control F, Command C, Command F. Move it and, and move it above our blend in the layers. And now let's click Ctrl A or Command A, go to Object, Clipping Mask, Make. Yes, and this is how it will look like at the end. I hope you have enjoyed this design and these videos. I am planning to do in future more Adobe Illustrator tutorials and also Adobe Photoshop tutorials and talk about the topics of web design, art, digital art, this is what I like a lot. So if you enjoy these videos, please subscribe to my channel and see you next time.